Hello everyone, this is 16th of September. Today we've got the FOMC meeting and this is when the press conference starts. It'll be 9.30 my time, so I've just made this 10 o'clock. Well, let's see actually when the news starts coming out. The news will come out at 9 p.m. my time, so let's recalculate that. Okay, there we go. So this is the news time. So as you can see, we've got a geometry here working. Neptune, Jupiter, Mercury. Um, also Sun trining Jupiter Pluto uh, sorry Saturn Pluto and then Mars squaring the Saturn Mars being retrograde Saturn's retrograde Pluto's retrograde everybody's retrograde you know the ones involved here anyway um, and Neptune's also retrograde um, so all of these planets are retrograde so this is going to be double double the impact so today if you take a look at the chart let's go to this is nine o'clock so the market's going to have some let me see what kind of projection by the time they do their statement and everything let's recalculate the market will have a good attitude to it today so we should see the market closing higher okay this is what the market's going to look like it's going to close higher with the Moon, Jupiter, Sun, Saturn, and also Saturn, Mars squaring, this is a top limit. So this has all the, let's see when the Moon's getting, um, when the Moon's gonna start separating. So that's gonna be at 2 a.m. So by the time we get to 2 a.m., 3, let's make it 3 a.m., 2 a.m., 3 a.m., this thing should be at the top for those who are trading um with a forex broker if you don't have a um, you know if you're trading the mini it's 24 hours working so as you can see by 2 a.m okay we should be somewhere at the top there let me bring in the clock let's take a look at the clock so this is the clock right now okay so let's stop that let's take ourselves to 10 p.m 10 p.m. there so as you can see here we're about here where we should have we should actually be let me do this in a civilized way oops where are you gone where are you here we go so let's go backwards a little bit so first of all as you can see the market okay let's see by the time it's let's bring it to now and I'll just read the whole thing save us a lot of trouble so it's 11 a.m my time right now okay so we should have the market moving up as at right now 11 a.m my time is what is it 407 a.m new york and was it in london right now it's 907 all right so the market should be pushing up with the moon uranus and we've got the sun and saturn this is going to push us to a nice little limit up there at the top so with mars we're going to then have a turning point okay because Saturn's going to limit us up so as you can see here also we've got Jupiter and Mercury um, 17th this is going to be exact at 130 so this is going to have an impact on the sky as well today so by the time the market moves on as you can see from here onwards the market should bring us to a high level around there okay around there and then we should start turning there all right so this should be a turning point so around 1 a.m okay from um it'll be 1 a.m when the new bar opens it in my time zone so when the market is around 12 to 1 a.m this should make a top um when the market's closing so when the market is closing we should be at a top all right during the asia session the market has the option because it's moon conjunct the sun okay so this has got some room it might just tip up a little bit with moon oh come on where is it let's do this moon trining pluto okay and that's going to be over by the time we get to where sun and moon conjunction will be over as well when's that going to be over it's going to be over 
there okay so by the time mercury is at mid heaven the only thing we should be left with is moon trining saturn sun trining saturn okay and that should be pretty much game over now this is going to be 2 p.m tomorrow so that's going to be when just before new york opens on the 17th so when we see a top if the market the market still has some room to slightly go higher in asia but then we should see a decline in the market when this top is made okay so when we're about there and things are going to start turning pear-shaped all right and then what we have is mars squaring saturn and also this sun trining saturn and the moon is pretty much empty no aspects there and this will be taking over now from there on moon quincunx mars that should be a sudden move okay so that should be a sudden move when around 5 p.m my time that's going to be around 10 a.m new york time okay so then we'll see that the market will start to head south okay and there you go moon once again conjunct to the sun now opposed by chiron who's also going retrograde chiron is going to adjust the market and that should bring us to a further down then neptune and mercury this is going to be september 18. neptune and mercury being exact on september 18 could be quite good for precious metals okay we might find ourselves at a bottom on the 18th for precious metals then we've got geometry coming into play now moon uranus and sextiling venus this is on the 18th so on the 18th if the market has a bit of a head up which i think it might do it should short again around what time around 2 p.m once again so just before new york opens and then the downwards should continue further into the session all right so the market should push further down into the session with mercury pluto being square and moon and jupiter also being square so we should then come to a point the 19th is already a saturday so 18th this is where the market's going to close my time 11 p.m okay so by the time the market the market should then start to make a low we should end up low on the 18th all right and the market just closes off there so at a low point we should be closing off then the 19th is a saturday the 20th is a sunday let's see what's going on, on the 21st let's do 21 and let's make this zero one a.m that's where we're going to be all right so now we've got a t square now that's also nice you see how this geometry is going to be working together on the 21st now look mercury and uh, not mercury neptune moon neptune jupiter and moon jupiter so this is going to be a turning point so we'll probably have some bottom we'll probably see a bottom um, with oil with gold silver with neptune jupiter in play also i'll tell you what's going to be interesting the mars and saturn together as well that's going to be on the that's going to be exact on september 30 but this t square plus this 
indicates that we're going to come to a bottom where we need to start buying all right so when will this happen this is the 21st so as you can see just 3 a.m so the market is moving then we've got you can see a few things there mercury squaring saturn opposing mars mars squaring saturn and mercury squaring pluto so this whole t squared thing has got the major planets mercury um, mars saturn pluto involved so with the indices with the businesses all right so pluto and saturn especially they're going to be giving us those limits so the market will probably with this whole t square thing let's see when this will take into effect this is going to be important around 8 a.m my time so between 8 9 a.m my time which is gmt plus three we'll have a, uh, we'll probably have a sport or resistance where you want to take trade again plus there you go jupiter and venus here Okay, Venus and Jupiter, it's going to be exact on September 22. So on September 22, we should be at a place where we want to buy. Moon, Sun, Sextile, it's not going to be that, you know, something amazing. But still, it's related also to Saturn. So we'll probably come to a bottom where we, we're going to come to a bottom limit where there's going to be some value in buying. Um, and then this whole and then let's take a look at the moon we're going to have a new moon on the 17th or the 18th i think it's the 17th if i recall correctly let's just not make a mistake so that new moon is going to give us some opportunities as well take a look at the calendar there we are 17th it is it's going to be effective on the 18th so by the time we're 2021 we've got you know some waxing on there um and that's the 21st so around the 21st there 21st 9 p.m around my time we might see some bottoms all right and those bottoms should give us some opportunity. The market will carry on into the 22nd, easy going, and probably when, yeah, 11, will give it'll give us another opportunity to buy around there. Okay, so look. If you think about it, watch the time as you go along. So when you're watching the video, watch where these tops and bottoms are. Okay, ascendant, descendant, midheaven, everything. And then those time periods are going to be important. So we're going to see some dips. Okay, and these bottoms should be worth buying. All right. So we should have a bottom with this T-square geometry is what I'll look at. Um, and also the aspects. So this inter-correlation inter between them, this interrelation between them is what's going to give us those points. All right, so the um 22nd as you can see let's do 21st 21st let's do noon recalculate this and then i've got 22nd there you go okay so on the 22nd we should see a bottom there all right so the 21st should be a nice dip we might probably see that day uh as you know still checking out some dips uh, Monday is going to be holiday in Japan and next week we don't have amazing a lot of events at the moment so this week is all the news we're left with right now so on the 22nd when we see this T squared this is going to be important and these are going to be as you can see Mars Saturn's got some time to go um, Mercury and Saturn that's going to be exact on the 23rd at 1 40 p.m so this is like slightly before new york opens up so we should come to the bottoms on the 22nd and the market should start picking it up on the 23rd when this thing really breaks off this aspect breaks off okay so timing is going to be crucial here but from the clock as well you can see that mostly the the 
situations that we're going to be going through mostly happening um, before New York opens or during the New York session like this is going to be important as well so that's 9 p.m. 8 45 between 8 and 9 p.m. my time so that's going to be obviously taking us to um, to a turning point okay so this T square is going to be worthwhile watching so most markets next week should find some bottoms this will give us an opportunity to do some shorts today when the market closes off with the indices um, and looking to short, uh, short the indices in the Asia session as well. Um, also looking at shorting oil as well to find bottoms for it. Um, that could also go into the 21st. Okay, the 21st as you can see here with Venus, Neptune, Jupiter making a yod. This is going to be obviously um, a good opportunity for metals it's going to be a good opportunity for oil to be at bottoms all right so from there you might find some breathing space and going up also for gold as well now let's take a look at the 16th okay well let's make this 10 p.m there Okay, there you go all right let's take a look at the helio as well now helio is going to be important why look helio is important for commodities um and for and for many things in, in the world actually so if you take a look at this chiron and mars being conjunct um and mars on mars and chiron going to be conjunct on the 21st so this is already telling us a strong adjustment level on the 21st right secondly we've got saturn and jupiter conjunction that's way off but look at that what is that that is the 2nd of november 2020 and guess what's going on on the 2nd of November 2020 yep US elections that is already telling us we're gonna be you know at some limits where the market won't be going there for a long time again okay so this date the election period something to look out for all right um, and that's Let's get back to geocentric so today we'll have some tops like i said on the indices and when you get to the 21st okay 20th so we've got 1920 21st is a monday let's recalculate let's make this noon recalculate we've got a nice yod here so some markets will start turning okay um they'll make a bottom and they'll start turning with this Okay, so this will be a bottom for some markets. Yod, Neptune, Jupiter, Venus, showing us that there is value in buying commodities. And as we move forward, um, I also want to just check out, that was the Helio. I just want to check out the Helio for the 22nd as well, where we've got... There we go, Venus 150, Jupiter. So now we've got some turning points. And on the 22nd there, let's do this, 22nd noon, recalculate here. Moon 150 and Mercury 90, Saturn. That's going to become exact on the 23rd, like I said. And let's just check out the Helio on there. There you go, and the 23rd. We've got Mars around. It's only a um, 30 degree aspect, nothing major. Saturn 60 Earth. Okay, so that's going to be relevant. Let's say we can take this. Plus on the 23rd, Venus parallel Saturn. All right, so that's also something to keep in mind. Venus parallel Saturn there. And Venus parallel Jupiter on the 22nd there. 
so these are going to be bottom limits as well so next week we'll see bottoms to buy this week we'll see tops to sell we'll go to the bottoms and then we'll go the other way all right hope that helps astrology astrology and trading together so there you go we always said we were going to go up so no surprises there we've got room and then this is going to be probably our resistance level here today as you can see having technical analysis as a tool as well is going to be a good you know it's a good tool for us because this is where you're going to start coming up to and then the market will short off that'll be about 56.55 i'm at the us 500 56.55 is 3454 3454 is around here so if we do this in asia okay 3450 region there if we do this in the asia session and today we'll be looking to short it in between these two ranges but 3454 looks like a good level and i'll just put a mark there okay so this zone is a nice sell zone if we see the market up here and if it stays up here in the asia session as well when i'm trading this is where we'll want to short this off all right and then this could take us back to a double bottom okay so that double bottom is going to be about what 3300 round here okay so 3311 3300 all right so we might see the market popping its head back down to here again and if it does that fine no problemo okay all we have to do then is just um, and just then next week if we pop our heads down here or slightly lower with divergence then we'll be looking at buying won't we okay so it'll be popping its head back down even to the channel is great we'll have a divergence probably if we have a double bottom or slightly lower and then we'll head back up again and then the market should come by the time we get into the u.s elections we're either going to come to a double top or slightly higher if we do both in any case at that time we'll still evaluate obviously astrology but then that's the time when we're going to be shorting it off all right hope that helps have a great day already and if you're interested in learning astrology and trading with technical analysis together right so if you want to bring them together if you if you want to learn them together this is probably the only website where we teach a concrete methodological you know a nice straightforward step-by-step -step method methodology logical and scientific with technical analysis then you can really start to uh, start to use things together uh, and that really make your trading successful well this is also the pst indicator this is my personal indicator i had this indicator made for myself so um, this is based on how i trade as you can see the indicator is also like a price bar but it's not a price bar so as the market goes up we've got certain levels where we want to integrate ourselves to technical and um you know and the indicator and all the indicator has price levels as well so i don't want to be just selling off anywhere i want to under, i understand where i want to sell off so when the price and astrology meet okay so when this guy meets with the hours and the times uh with the astro clock let's say 8 45 p.m my time on the 22nd and we end up in a low on the line somewhere then we start buying and today for example the 16th if i take it um and we go up to when the news is going to come up because we understand we're going up with the news until the closure at least so the market's going to close at 11 my time as you can see this time period is going to be important so we'll probably be around the top level by 9 p.m my time they'll start talking and that top should be right about here around 1 a.m during the asia session when the market opens up at 1 a.m we should be at a top and once we flip over once we get to this level around 2 around 2 a.m in the asia session we should already be at an adjustment level ready to short it off with chiron at mid heaven mars coming to square saturn and uranus coming towards the top to show us a point of change and then that should be activated as you can see all right so we should have a nice turning point there 
and with Saturn and Moon as you can see here Moon conjunct Sat, um, Moon conjunct the Sun and also Saturn trining the Sun there's going to be an extra impact there so this might push us to lower limits once again just tipping us down but this this process as the market moves on should take us to limits okay once we once we're there let's see here and also lunchtime like i said is going to be important 1 p.m tomorrow so those are going to be good places to be trading be mindful do money management as well um, but putting astrology and technical analysis together with the price levels at these hours like i said works like magic all the best